two back legs. You like this? I, okay. It's say something with the toes turned mm. in. And literally the toes turned in is just really when you initially learn the kata. Okay, so when I do sound chin and I'm practicing and I come out, right? And I, so the other thing is, so I'm here. So see, you got a little bit too much of that. Okay. Okay. So you've got to figure out that balance point. So when I'm here, right? Now I'm here, right? And you see my body. There's no wobble in my body, right? So no wobble in the body, right? Okay. So now, if I'm doing <coughs> the chi gong which is a good way to practice it, right? Deep so, press, right? Well, once I get into my stance, you almost want to have like a checklist, okay? So the way the tripod pieces the legs click into mm -hmm. place to hold the, the camera up, yeah. okay, so that's what has to happen. So the first thing you do is you check the bottom of your feet. So am I gripping the floor, causing this action with the foot, right? So I grip the floor, right? Okay. Now, are my knees, straight. We don't want we don't want the knee collapsing, right? Okay. So <clears throat> is the buttocks pull down and underneath, right? Mm -hmm. So so there should be firmness in the legs, but not crazy tension. Alright? So and then you continue the way up, right? So here, right, you focus on the Dantian, make sure the Dantian is firm, right? So as the hand comes out and it pulls in here, right? So so this is the same action. So this elbow, I don't pull it in. I pull this elbow yeah, on the line. So. And when I pull this elbow, when I pull this elbow on a line like this, see how much the arm bends? Yeah. So it looks like, right? So so when I'm when I'm here, right? When I come here and it pulls in, it looks the same as if I if I do this with my elbows mm. or I do this, right? right? So we, we want this action, right? So now, when this hand comes in, right? When this hand comes in, right? My um, elbow, you want lower than the hand. Right. So the reason you guys are having a hard time with that is because there's way too much tension in your arm. So both of you, as you're pulling in, it's like this. Like, everything's tight. When, when I pull in, everything's relaxed. The only thing that's got a little firmness is the right arm, right? But this is relaxed. Okay, so now when the hand starts to come out, okay? So this is what you're doing. As this comes out, right, you're doing this, and then at the very end you do that. Yes. No. Don't do that. Hey. It's the gearbox, right? Ah. So this is here, right? So, so now, right, here, right? And that, as I'm exhaling, right, so when I first come out and I get to here, at the finish, you tighten the anus. Right. right. When you tighten the anus, you'll feel the abs, and you'll feel the rest of your muscles slightly contract. Mm -hmm. We don't want this excess crazy tension that you see a lot of people do in Sancho. It totally is a waste of time. So when you tighten, it's just at the extension where you it's tighten the anus. It's like the Fa Jin yeah, right. in, in the Chinese martial arts mm -hmm. we do, which is, it's that explosion at the very right. end. Same now, for grabbing a float with your toes? Did you do so, that? Well, at the, at the, well you, grab, you grab slightly when you get into the stance. Then, at the end, when you, when you clench the anus, mm -hmm. you clench the toes too at the same time. And then the focus is put in, in here at the end, where that all tenses. But it's not, it's not like this. Where you see so many people doing San Chin. Extremely unhealthy for the body, right? So, so I, I do my checklist. I get myself in my good, my good position, right? I bring the elbow, right? So I, so I turn and bring the elbow in, right? This comes in, right? So now as it goes out, right? I've already inhaled, right? So I do my big inhale. You want to feel like the air comes in and you want to imagine that it wraps around the body and touches in the back. Mm -hmm. We know that's not possible, but we want to visualize that in our mind because we want to expand the lungs as, possible, as much as possible. So what people don't realize is they don't inhale long enough. So when I initially come out and I come here, as I begin to inhale, right? So I still have a lot of air. I only exhale a little bit, right? But now I'm inhale. Now I'm in my position. Now I'm inhaling again, right? So I'm inhaling, exhaling. Squeeze the anus, right? 
do a vertical. Well, you do vertical or oh, yeah. do both, right? Yeah. So then, right now, the elbow, the elbow, just is going to come on that line, right? So I'm here, right? Small inhale, right? Nice step. Far out the hands. Yeah. They go. Just they should, go, they should go out like this. Okay. So this is as though when you see the pictures of people holding a shishi mm -hmm. and it's like that. So yeah. So that's why the elbow has to come on this imaginary it's line. Like and, do this, and do the right. It's exactly right. Like that's exactly what it is. Right. right. So so we finish the other two, same mm -hmm. thing, right? We get to the, the last one, right? So we'll come out on this one, we do this once, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Right? We do this one, right? We do this one, right? Okay, so now, now, now watch, right? So again, right? Oh, wow. Right, so now pull in, open. You're not opening here. You're opening as the hands go out. Okay. So you open, right? So now, comes out. Vertical. Same thing. I'm squeezing the foot feet, clenching the anus here, right? So then the next one we step back, right? So again, you saw yeah, wow. the wall, right? So now I'm here, right? This gets put here. You have to do this. You're not doing that. No. This is fire hand. This is fire hand. It's the same technique we do in that pipe. Same thing? Yes. And they come to the center yeah. one. Okay. I, because as a general rule, the elbows are always coming into the center of the body. Okay. We we don't wanna we don't wanna punch like this, right? We want the elbow to be in close. That's why one of the things I'm seeing a lot of mission with people do is they do this with the elbow. No. And they punch like this, yeah, right? Yeah. But the, so the terrible. No. But the thing is, because it feels like, like they a get whip, like a yeah, whip action, yeah. but there's no there's no real power there. No. It's fake power, right? So the, the arm has to, the elbow has to come in towards the body. Mm -hmm. So the elbow has to stay in line with the wrist. Okay. So the elbow always has to come into line with the wrist. So and it, it, it's also the same thing, like this stuff, right? So it's the same thing. The elbow is pushing up into the line. Right. So when, when we're doing this. It's not that the hands are going out like this, right? It's the hands aren't part of the equation, right? right. It's the elbows push up, push, push. There's a line here. Right. The elbow pushes into the line. The elbow pushes into the line. Right. That makes it much more powerful, right? 
So, so when you're in a stance, right? Doesn't matter which forward, 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 left, left, right? When I'm in the San Chin stance, right? So when I initially, if I'm coming out and doing the first move, right? So what you can do is too, when you grip the floor, the feet, this foot, so do this. So, right? And you're like, it's like you're grabbing, right? Right? And then the elbows, like I said, come here, right? Okay? So, same thing. Once I've done getting my position, I'm doing my inhale, I come out, you want to work on pulling the spine straight down and then tucking it underneath. It is not just thrusting the hips forward. No, it's pulling it down. You have to pull the spine, so the spine has to get pulled down. Right. So you see there's a curvature in my back, like Master Chen was talking this morning about the tiger mm -hmm. back. Right? So when I pull straight down, that curvature disappears. Are you also pulling the neck up? Well, the neck gets pulled up too. Right. So you, you're pulling a line like this. Right. But it's not, it's not, it's not. So it's you're not stretching this. here. Right. It's, right here. It's this. Right. So the head doesn't move. So the head doesn't move, but I'm pulling up to the top of the head. Right, 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 right. So it creates a line here in the body, right? And you can feel the timber in my voice changes mm -hmm. because it's strength, yeah. right? It's actually pushing, working and working the body, right? So if you work on it pulling the spine straight down and then tucking it, pulling it, and making, creating a small tuck underneath, it's also very healthy for the lower back. That's why I told you that you have to work that. Right, right, right. Because right. then you won't get back spasms. Right. Okay. I used to get back spasms all the time, where I literally would get up and my lower back would just seize up. This was just here. This was the other place. When, when Master here. Chen taught me how to pull the spine straight down, right. first thing I, 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 you know, I realized was, oh my God, that's what we should be doing in Sam Chen. Right? So we've been told to just tuck the hips forward, right? Mm -hmm. but that's not what it is. It's down and then it's down, straight down, uh, and then tuck it, it, it tucks under a little bit. But when you pull it straight down and you go to tuck it underneath, you're going to realize it doesn't move a lot. No. Whereas if I just thrust my hips forward like this, yeah, you get a lot of movement, but it's not doing anything. Right. right? So. <clears throat>